Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do Sunday Sauce, a read for the collective. So first of all, collective, shout out to you. Whoever you are, wherever you are on the planet, we see you and acknowledge you and we're very grateful for your presence. So thank you for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. Whether or not anybody else has told you this today, Delilah Tiberius and I love you. It's solid, it's unconditional, it's a fact. If you're going to claim this reading, please only do it from your higher self and for your higher good and only if it resonates. If it doesn't fit, don't force it, okay? If you need to contact me for any reason at all, my information is in the box below on how to do so. And lastly, could you please hit the like and subscribe? It's fun. It's entertainment purposes only. It doesn't cost you anything and it will make you feel good because it's positive energy that you are expending out into the universe that has no choice but to reverberate back to you. In the meantime, though, we are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every friggin' form possible to infinity and beyond. All right, let's hit this clear and ground for Sunday sauce. Thank you. As above, so below, there is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective. Collective, we're working with energy. It's fluid. I keep speaking about you with somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody here today, yeah? Yeah. Show me. Sunday sauce. What's cooking in the gravy? Somebody's lost in the sauce today. I can feel it already. Show me. Show me. Okay, here we go. So, okay, good. Somebody's getting rid of all the burdens, baggage, and bullshit in their life. You got a ten of wands in reverse. Somebody's delegating back all the responsibilities that somebody else threw on their back or several people threw on their back, okay? It's getting over it. It's, it's releasing all the baggage, okay? Dropping all the, the boulders on somebody's shoulders, all right? You got an eight of cups here. Eight of cups talks about walking away. That makes a lot of sense. For something that was too too much responsibility, too over obligating, and going to find your ninth and tenth cup of emotional fulfillment, contentment, and happiness. Right? Right. All right, let's see what's going on now. Here we go. Now you have over here taking a new leap of faith. Aries energy. There was a new opportunity, somebody took it. Okay, that's all there is to it. They they didn't they didn't like being over obligated or on a struggle bus in whatever way that is for you it's gonna be different for everybody so they walked away and they took a new opportunity a new leap of faith maybe traveled they were adventurous they were spontaneous and they did what they had to do right now page of swords somebody's watching somebody somebody's trying to gather some kind of information we have a stalker alert in aisle nine the page of swords for whatever reason this person wants to know something okay they're doing it in a secretive manner Trying to gather information. It could be watching your social media. It could be the nosy neighbor, an office gossip, a friend, a relative, an ex, even somebody you're in a relationship with now, right? Show me. Crowning. Crowning, you got, oh, you've got an ace of cups, a new emotional awakening. Somebody's watching. They want to take a new leap of faith. They're trying to bring in this ace of cups for you. It's crowning. It's about to hit you. It's intimacy. It's love. It's sensuality. It's creativity. Here it comes. Show me. So far, you got Aries energy as the most predominant. Here. Now, you got a king of wands in reverse. Be careful. You could be dealing with a narcissist, somebody that has Leo in their chart. So be careful of that, okay? King of wands in reverse is somebody who will take the lead. But this person, you know, this person has high expectations. They could be forceful. They're ineffective. They have narcissistic tendencies across the board. They might be very selfish, egotistical, never take any responsibility for anything. Lie, cheat, you know, blame it on you. So let's see. We're dealing with a narcissist. Why or oh why? You have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Look at this. You're not going to be emotionally happy with this situation. Somebody's bringing it in, but I don't think, you know, whoever I'm talking to, it's not going to fulfill you. Ten of Cups in reverse. You're looking at this like it's, you know, this is some kind of an imbalance. This is a disharmony, maybe a domestic conflict. Some kind of, yeah, a breakup perhaps. Yeah. You got the four cups in your environment. You're disgusted with the situation, apathetic, bored, indifferent, maybe in deep contemplation. Somebody likes to meditate around here. Somebody's got curly hair. Show me. Show me. Okay, here. So, now, what you do have, though, is single and successful. Nine of pentacles. Virgo energy. For being rewarded for your efforts, luxury, achievement, material security. You know, it's a good foundation. Solid. Just temper your emotions, though. 
You got to temper your emotions. Balance yourself out. This is in a calm, in a peace, is in, right? Temperance is also a soulmate. So you might have a soulmate coming in here. You know, here, just temper your emotions. You have strength. This person might have Leo in their chart. And it could be, a, oh, big time Leo. Look, strength in five. There might be a lot of conflict. There might be a lot of competition in this situation. People might be fighting, causing drama. Show me. Sunday sauce. Hold on, people. We dropped it. Ow, I will get it. There you go. It's the five of cups, but I don't know which way it came out, so we're not taking it. Okay, give me. What's going on? In the center of the spread, you're disgusted, though. You're really completely bored with something in your life, if not several things. I don't know what to type. You're here balancing yourself out, get, being resourceful, flexible, getting yourself on solid ground. Maybe stretching your resources in some way, being strong against any competition. Maybe you... Yeah, let me see. Yeah, you have... You have an ace of wands. It's coming out in reverse. Somebody could be losing some kind of passion here for something. Somebody... This is like the match... Somebody even trying to balance themselves out because they're losing some kind of passion because they have to be strong because there might be too much competition in this situation. You feel what I'm saying? Or too much fighting and arguing. So they're losing their uh, enthusiasm for something here. Now, what is the advice from spirit? The advice from spirit is a goal, a focus, a chariot, overcome any obstacle to get to it. I'm thinking moving away from something that's very that you're losing passion for. This is about... The chariot cancer energy is about a victory. It's about, uh, you know, ambition and, and willpower and control focus. So you, I think you just need to stay focused, stay ambitious and have that willpower. Even if you feel like the, the, the spark is going out in some kind of enthusiastic area in your life, you're losing some kind of passion for something, try to balance yourself out. There's competition, screw it. Don't be in competition with anybody just with yourself. Look, somebody's stuck up in their head. Somebody's not sleeping. Somebody's not eating. Somebody's up all night with insomnia, worry, and fear. Maybe above over some kind of new opportunity for resources and abundance here. All right, somebody could be depressed as hell, hallucinating, perhaps even mental illness. Yeah, you have a four, a hold back, save your money, four, 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 four megahertz, four, four, four hertz, archangels, the archangels, pure frequency, it's a strong thing. Somebody needs to hold back, okay? Somebody doesn't need to, like, make any moves right now. Just try to take care of your, your mental situation here. Make sure you're getting enough sleep and stuff. You do have happiness coming in here, contentment, celebration, family, you know, community around you and uh look there's a king of pentacles coming okay virgo capricorn and taurus energy and they're going to bring fairness and balance into your situation you don't know this you don't see this somebody's going to take the lead and it's going to be that new opportunity that you were worried about missing over here so just be happy hold on a minute have patience and take make sure you're doing you know well for yourself you know take care of yourself here make sure you're getting enough sleep if you have some kind of issues go get help for it there's no, no shame in the game you know if you're depressed or something go tell somebody what's going on here yeah now let's do this yeah, turn it around. Let's go. You have a narcissist. Did I tell you we're dealing with a narcissist here? This King of Wands. The King of Wands in reverse is always a narcissist. The only stupid question is the one that's not asked or just asked. There's a big transformation going on here. All right? Somebody's got to have some big... Somebody wants to go fishing. Let's go fishing. Here we go. Two-faced in-laws. Somebody's got those. They could be narcissistic too. A prime purpose in life is to help somebody. If you can't help them, don't hurt them. What do we got here? Yeah, yeah blue cheese. Oh, God. Somebody likes blue cheese. Somebody hates blue cheese. Somebody, you know, could be eating blue cheese. I smell blue cheese. Somebody's named Poe. Just make sure you don't smell like blue cheese. Hell is empty. All the devils are here eating blue cheese. Lilac. Somebody likes it. Somebody smells like it. Somebody might be getting it. Somebody's over consuming junk food. What else do we have? Yeah. You have somebody's name could be Samantha. Somebody's going to be vindicated for something that, that they need to be vindicated for. It's going to be different for all of you. Somebody's for the streets. Leave them the freak there. Somebody's driving an Altima. I'm hearing a white Altima. Insomnia up all night. Well, there you go with the nine of swords, right? Somebody's doing spell work or they think they are. Be careful what you say and your words reverberate. Vibrations out into the universe comes back to you. But don't speed. Somebody can be speeding, all right, or on speed or somebody's, you know, wants something to move too fast. There's an opportunist in the picture. Here we go. Somebody's name is Jonathan. Okay, let me get you a couple letters. Happy Sunday sauce, everybody. I don't know. I hope everybody's meatballs are good. Right, Delilah? Here we go. You have GM, or GM Motors, right? Uh, you have two Ts. You have an S. You have... Hold on a second. Okay, you have all the vowels. A-E-I-O-U. Two I's, even. You have an R. You have... Uh, I'm hearing Sutter, Sutter, I don't know, Sutter, what is that? Is that like a, I don't know what that is. Okay, you have B and last name, I guess, and two Gs. All right, so 
two G's, a B, M, two T's, an S, and R. A, two E's, two I's, and O and a U. Thank you so much. We love you. Always remember, leave a logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. And trust in God because karma is real. Till next Sunday, love and light, everybody.